What's up, fam? All right. This is a, a feature inside a binary editor I didn't personally know about for probably a couple of years of using this. Um, and, and it's an interesting way to look at things. You know, when you're when you're street tuning your car, you're not using a dyno, but you're, you're really trying to figure out if you're making, you know, top-end improvements. You know, as you tweak your timing and your fuel and make those little changes uh, to really get everything you can out of it. So I've been working on this combo for a while, and I was just kind of curious because we're, we're about at the end of it where, you know, I think it's... It's got what it's got, and we're happy with it, and everything's running real well. But I wanted to compare this back to one of our earlier watt logs we were doing when we still have the timing down a little bit, and I want to see what the difference is. So what what you do here is, you know, you start off with your, your recent log. You get this loaded up, and I'm going to look at this in terms of mile per hour and airflow because really, you know, when you're on the street, if you have traction, you're running at the same operating temperatures and you're in the same gear, and you punch it from a low RPM and wind it out, your mile per hour is a pretty dead giveaway if you're improving or not. And then a second way you can look at things is, you know, your airflow. Now, the, the airflow measurement itself with the mass air car, I wouldn't say you trust that necessarily because the, the actual airflow values are manipulated to adjust fuel, and this is several tunes back that we're going to compare it to. But when you look at the mass air voltage, the voltage is the voltage. You don't control that. So if the mass air voltage is going up, at you know the exact same RPMs in the same general area, you know you're on the right track. So right now I've got this pulled up. Red line at the top is our throttle position, so you can see we're full throttle here, uh, about 70 miles an hour. And I'm pretty sure this is a fourth gear pull. So you know pulling it from low RPMs about 3,500, and took this one up to uh, about about 5,400, maybe 55. So just just kind of a short pull. Now here's the feature you don't know about. This little enable checkbox right here, when you open that up, you can now hit this second open because you're used to clicking this one when you want to open up your data log, but you can now open a secondary log, pick a different one, and then it overlays the two on top of each other and it has the same uh, time scaling and the same uh, vertical scaling for each of your other components. So when I do that, now what we can see is I've got both mile per hours right here. And so right around the beginning of this pull, this the pull we're comparing to actually started a little bit earlier. Uh, so you can you can see if I scoot over, you know, the, the watt started here. But this is where kind of they're both in watt. And what you can do is you can offset one using this plus and minus. So I can push this guy over to the right or to the left to get everything, you know, where I want it to be. Go. Go. So once we get this, you know, aligned where we're we're pretty much dead even as far as you know mile per hour, I mean there's kind of your dead giveaway. So same gear, we look at our operating temps. Coolant temp is within two degrees. Air temp is within two degrees. So this is a very very true test. It's not a dyno, but damn, it's about as close as we can get. So now what we start to watch is as we go through the curve, you see the green line, which is our current tune. You notice it's going up faster. So at this point, we're, we're ahead by two miles an hour, and as we get a little bit closer to the top, now we're hitting about two and a half, two and a half miles per hour difference up here. And so the whole point of this is, you know, when you're, when you're really thinking about how's it going to perform on the street, that's what you're looking at is how quick am I getting through my mile per hour. And a fourth gear pull like this has complete traction, so that really shouldn't have any effect on this. And to confirm what we're thinking here is that maybe we picked up about three miles per hour, which is you know, respectable. Let's go look at this now. So we're going to pull up the mass air voltage. And let me rescale this so we can we can get a better sense of what's going on. But there you have it. I mean, you can see that the, you know, the airflow is was pretty similar down here. But as we go up, you can see that that yellow line's pretty much staying on top the entire time. And yellow is, you know, the current tune. And then the other, the white line that's a little bit lower is the previous tune. So that kind of confirms our suspicion that we're really picking up, you know, some, some decent airflow through here. And that's, you know, an easy way to compare things. So I just wanted to show you guys this quick comparison tool because uh, it's really, really helpful when you're not using a dyno, but you want to know, did you get that last little bit? So guys, hope it helps. Good luck. Godspeed.